I realize I'm having issues right now. I'm sorry you have to stare at this. Hi guys, what's going on? It is Ipsy time. You know that I normally don't get in front of the camera without any makeup on unless I have a reason for it. And obviously, I like to look at my Ipsy spoilers and I know that there is some stuff in here that requires no makeup. So <laughs> my Ipsy this month has more skincare aspects to it than it normally does. It does still have some makeup too. So I am excited to open it up and see what these do for me because I obviously need help in the skincare department. Okay, so here's the bag this month. It's super cute. It's got little passport thingies. Perfect for summer vacation stuff going on. So first thing in here is the Cermetic Poreless Carbonic Peel Mask. Helps to decongest pores, lift impurities, and remove excess sebum. Sebum? And helps to control oil and keep skin moisture balanced while clearing and calming pores. That is a lot of things that this says it does. This is just a sheet mask. Uh, normally I don't like to review sheet masks on this channel because it's hard to give a good review on them. So this is something I'll go ahead and use on my own time as usual. Next in the bag we have uh, this, whoa, okay. We have this lip pencil by Lord & Barry. This is in the shade Intimacy. It is the Maxi Matte Crayon Lips. All right. Now, you know what I don't get is that, like, do you see how, like, unsharpened the tip is of this? I mean, it goes on your lips, so whatever, but whatever. <laughs> Just whatever. Uh, I do like the color of this, though. I'm actually really stoked for it. It's like a dusty rose color, and I feel like this is kind of a color that I've really been wanting. Hopefully, it looks good <laughs> and works well and doesn't dry me out because Lord knows I need to not dry my mouth out. Next, we have this face powder by Tarte. This is the Smooth Operator. So it just looks like a translucent powder. I've never used Tarte's translucent powder before, so I'm excited to see how it works. I'm gonna put it all over my face today and see how it bakes, how it sets the rest of my face. Next in the bag, this looks like a mascara. This is the Max Lash Volumizer Mascara by, <laughs> how do you say this? Doocy? All right, I like um, brushes like this that are less like thin and bleh, and these ones are just, I feel like I get a lot more volume out of these. And the last thing in the bag is this moisturizer by Jivy with microalgae and lavender. Skincare so natural, it's safe enough to eat. Okay, it says it's organic, and I actually know what all these ingredients are, so that's pretty cool. Now that is everything in my Ipsy bag, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by moisturizing. I'm so ready for this. Now it's got a green tint to it, which I'd assume is for um, calming redness and stuff. Ugh! Y'all watch Dr. Pimple Popper? Cause that's what that reminded me of, all right. <laughs> well, let's do this, I guess. Oh, nice and green. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like lavender. It smells like, you know when you go into those like new worldy, like the shops that sell crystals and like incense and stuff? It's what, that's what this smells like. And I'm not hating, I actually love the smell of all that. The only thing that concerns me is I got a lip care thing from Ipsy one time that had that sea algae or whatever and I feel like it just dries me out really really bad. I don't know if it's the sea algae that does it or if it's just something else in there but I don't know it's hard to say so hopefully it doesn't feel drying at all but also that lip stuff I'm talking about doesn't feel drying either. So assuming this like does all right for my skin I'm in love with it. It smells super good. It feels nice for now. I don't know how much the full size of this runs for but I would definitely consider getting a full tube of this just because I really like the way it smells. Alright, so next we have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Smooth Operator Powder to try. I'm obviously going to put some foundation and concealer on this mug of mine that is just giving me issues and I'm sorry I've had to stare at it for the past like five minutes, but alright. All right, we are ready to rock and roll. So I shook it a little bit and got that much out, but I feel like I'm gonna need more than that. Let's just start with that. <laughs> so using a flat brush, this is by Chanel. I'm just going to pat this under my eyes and see what happens. <laughs> So I did go ahead and just pat it um, in those areas where I feel like I always need a little bit more help in the creasing department. I don't know if I put too much on here, but it's like baking, so I, hopefully I can dust the rest of it off. But anyway, I'm going to put it all over the rest of my face using a fluffy brush. Uh, 
Okay, so not bad like in person, but then looking in the viewfinder and the camera, like you can see a lot of white, like there's bad flashback. In person, I don't see it, but then here I'm like, ugh. I will probably use this up because I do like that it's not like totally cakey and disgusting in my fine lines here. I always need something that's gonna keep me nice and smooth here um, under my eyes too. But yeah, generally I like it. It's called Smooth Operator and I think it is for a reason. I think it does a decent job, so. Cool. Now if you'll excuse me, let me go put some eyebrows on. <laughs> okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and try this Doocy? Douche? Douchey? Oh. Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. I actually like this mascara. I think it does a pretty good job at separating. Uh, the formula is nice. It's not super clumpy. Um, yeah, I, I don't mind it so much. Obviously it's a small tube so it won't last me very long and I'm not one to really spend a lot of money on mascaras so would I buy a full size of this? Probably not assuming that I'm thinking that it's gonna be really expensive but it's nice. I mean this little tube, I'm happy with it. <laughs> now the last thing we have to try out is this matte lip pencil. You guys know how I feel about matte lip stuff because I just, I feel like they never look good on my lips but with this not being a liquid lipstick, maybe it'll be fine. So, let's see. I love the color. I love the color! For me, it's like a million times better than any other liquid lipstick. I generally feel like I like just regular lipsticks and now lip crayons more these days because I feel like the liquid lipstick thing is just kind of overrated. So I actually really like this. You'll have to pardon my lips right now. <laughs> the past like week they've been so chapped and I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's just the weather or something. It's just so dry here. It just, uh, I don't know. Welcome to Arizona where everything's dry. Okay. But assuming I can get my chapped lips to go away, like I think this will wear very well. It seems like it's going to be long wearing. Obviously not kiss proof or anything like that. Yeah, because it's not a liquid lipstick. I wouldn't expect it to be. You know what? I really like it. So altogether, I'm very pleased with Ipsy this month. Wasn't I pleased last month too? Is Ipsy stepping up their game? I honestly don't remember last month's Ipsy bag, but I like it. I feel like I've been giving Ipsy a lot of crap the past few months. I'm actually, <laughs> I like the stuff I got out of Ipsy this month better than the stuff I got out of BoxyCharm, and that is a first in my entire life. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will see you next week. Bye.